In this lab walkthrough, we're going to take a look at how we can install a virtual appliance or a VA on VMware ESXi. So with access to Cisco Umbrella, we have two ways we can get to where we need to be. So the first one is by logging in and reaching the overview page where you'll see active virtual appliances here. Now you can click on that and it'll take you to sites and active directory or you can actually go to deployments and then you can go down to sites and active directory you can see here i have some virtual appliances already configured in my lab we're going to ignore those and we're going to actually add another one today so what we need to do is we need to navigate to the top right corner where it says download and then we'll just click download and we get a little dialogue pop up here which gives us a few options now we want to focus on the virtual appliance for this particular lab lab walkthrough so we have two options we have the va for the vmware esxi or we have it for hyper v we're going to install this on esxi today so we'll download that now just before you do download that do take note of your org id because this is going to be part of the password for your VA, your default password. So when you actually install the VA, you'll be asked to enter a password and that default password it will be umbrella, as you can see here. And then the digits are going to be your organization ID. So we'll download that now. And you can see once that file has been compiled, it's going to then start downloading for us. Now, once that file has been downloaded, you will need to extract it. As you can see here, this is the file once downloaded. It's a .tar file. So with it, we extract that. And then once we've extracted that, we can see we have some information within that folder. So you've got a readme file, which is basically going to tell you how you can actually use these two um, bits of information to verify the download and verify that it is a legitimate download. I'm going to skip past that because I know I've just downloaded it from my umbrella dashboard. But if you wanted to verify that, you could use the readme instructions and uh, run through that verification process. So once that's done, we need the OpenDNS virtual machine that's been downloaded here. And this is what we're going to use for our VMware ESXi. With access to our ESXi environment, we need to go to File, Deploy OVF Template. And then we need to deploy from a file. So we'll just browse to that location. Once that's done, we press Next. And you can see now that it's picked up um, our Umbrella Virtual Appliance. And it's telling us that we require ESXi version 5.1 or later. So we're good with that respect. You can see the version of the VA. You can see the vendor. You can see the download size. Size on the disk that it's going to use. And a little bit of a description there as well. So we'll just click Next. You can give this a more meaningful name if you choose to do so. So I will give this a more meaningful name. And then once you're happy with that, press next. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to actually select thin provision. So this is going to allow us to only use the space that's required, whereas thick provision would actually take up all the space. There is benefits and uh, so pros and cons to each, but we'll stick with thin provision for this. Next, we need to map our network. So we need to specify where our VA is going to be sat in our environment. So for me, it's going to be this one. And then once we're done with that, we'll just say next. Then we get a summary of the configuration. So once we're happy with that, we can then just go ahead on and select the little radio box here to power on after it's been deployed. And we'll click finish. And that's going to start creating that VM now. All right, so we'll let that deploy now and uh, start running. But that is how we can configure an Umbrella VA for VMware ESXi. 
In an upcoming lab walkthrough, we'll actually start to look at the configuration of the Umbrella VA. But that's it. See you in the next lesson.